four of 10 people worldwide are deficient in iodine. That's going by WHO criteria, which are way too low. I say those numbers are way higher. I agree. Iodine deficiency is probably, I don't know if it's the single, it's not the single underlying cause, but it is a major cause or probably the most important underlying cause of the, the one in seven women suffering from breast cancer in our country, one in three men having prostate cancer, the epidemic increases of pancreatic, ovarian, uterine, um, the thyroid cancer is the fastest growing cancer in the United States. All this sort of, in in my mind, in my research, is being driven in large part by iodine deficiency that's affecting probably 97% of our country right now. Our iodine levels are lower than they are lower now than they were from our predecessors, you know, generations before. And our exposure to the toxic halogens, which makes the iodine deficiency worse, is up higher. I call it a double whammy of iodine deficiency, and we're suffering from this.